my name is Brittany from the Top Pick Collective. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to try and give you a really quick tutorial on how to make a 2x6 photo booth strip. I have some of the components already made, but I'm going to go over some of the key factors. I'm using Photoshop Cloud, so your version may be a little bit different than mine, um, but overall we should have all the same pieces, just maybe in different places. So I started off with just a 4x6 strip. We're going to go ahead and save this. So so that we can uh, make it easier on ourselves later. So you're going to go ahead and file, save as, and you're going to make sure you save this as a JPEG. You're going to go to JPEG and go ahead and call this your background. I already have it saved as army background, so um, you're just going to go ahead and save it as whatever you need as a JPEG and just background. And so we're going to start off with the bottom layer. I liked this little yellow shindig here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the layer. And we're going to drag it into the file that we're currently working. And so it is under file. And you're just going to go ahead and drop it on in there. So you see it's a little bit too big for where we need it. So we're going to go ahead and hit Control T. And we're going to try and minimize it to about where you see the halfway mark at. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And so you'll see I only design one side at a time just because I feel like you can pretty easily design the other side once you've completed one side. And so then we're going to go ahead and bring this logo over. And so you can see this logo started off as um, all of this stuff in the background, but I had to apply a layer mask and go ahead and get all of that off just so that I can have the logo by itself. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before with the yellow. I'm just going to grab the layer that I want and I'm going to drag it into the file that I'm currently working. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and delete it for now because I already have it in here. And so for now, we're just going to go ahead and pop it on in there. So then you'll have it where it'll look just like that. And so then we're going to go ahead and add some words to our file. So you're going to go over here. You're going to go ahead and click on T. And then you're going to just go ahead and start typing in whatever it is you want it to be. If you want to change the font, you're going to go over here and change your font size and text and color to whatever it is you want it to be. Mine's ended up looking a little bit like this. And then I went ahead and added another layer that just included the date. Now, honestly, you could just go ahead and stop right here with the photo booth software that I have. I can go ahead and apply borders around the pictures pretty easily, um, but I know a lot of people like to have the PNG frame box around it. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Um, and so one of the things that I use is a guide. And so I always have this file where I um, put this in all of my strips just to use as a guide to show me if the pieces that I'm laying are correctly. So you see we've got boxes going around boxes and you can see this is about the halfway mark. I um, make the opacity on this really low so that it has that nice background feel and I'll just pop it up when I'm not sure if I'm laying the pieces correctly. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. And so you're going to do just like we did with the other ones. You're going to go ahead and grab the layer and drop it on into the file that we're using. I've already done it, so I'm going to just turn it on. And so you're going to turn on all of those. So you'll drop it in there and you'll go ahead and duplicate these. And the way that you can duplicate it is with that first one, you're going to go ahead and right click. You're going to select duplicate a layer. In fact, I will go ahead and show you just really quickly because it can be a little bit tricky when you duplicate it. So I'm going to right click, duplicate layer. We're going to call it box two. That's fine. And you're going to have to go ahead and pull it out. You want to make sure that you have your crosshair selected. And you're going to go ahead and pull that extra one out. Make sense? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Like I said, I already have mine on here. So let's go ahead and add those on. So now you can see that it's looking pretty much like we've got a strip on this side. So the easy thing to do is going to be to go ahead and grab all of the things that we just created. And so say box three, we're going to hold down the control key and select all of these layers that we just created. Make sure you're holding down that control key at all times so that you don't lose any of the layers. 
Okay, so I didn't quite make it to five minutes, but that's okay. We're going to try and make it under 10 minutes now. Okay, so we grabbed all of our layers, right? And we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to say duplicate all of those layers that we just created. Okay, and you're going to make sure your crosshair is selected and we're going to pull those layers right on out. You see how clean that was? And now we've got our other side and we don't have to worry about if it's the same, is the picture the same, does it look the same, any of those things. All we have to do is make sure that they're lined up. And so you see we've got a nice clean strip right here it's starting to look like a strip. It looks a little bit like Christmas to me so I might have you know adjusted the colors on these but nonetheless for the most part you won't see a whole lot of the colors. And so when you're ready to save this as an overlay, we're going to go ahead and drop our background out. So you see the, the first layer is going to be called background. This little icon next to it is an eyeball. It controls what you see and what you don't see. See, don't see, see, don't see. Okay, so we want to don't see. So now you see you've got all of these little white boxes that indicates that it's going to be transparent nothing's there it's going to reflect whatever is underneath here that's what you want this is what we call the overlay so we're going to go ahead and go to file we're going to save as once again you want to make sure you change this to a png i'm going to save it as a png and i call it mine's army overlay and so you want to go ahead and make sure it's png you hit save and it'll save it for you and so um, that's really all you've got to do to get your strip going. There's a couple of things that are a little bit more um, advanced that you can get into, but for basics, this will get you there. If you've got questions, reach out to me. Um, email is probably the best way to reach me. You can reach me at Brittany, B-R-I-T-N-E-Y, at toppickphotobooth.com. And Top Pick is T-O-P. P I C photobooth.com. I hope that this was helpful and you guys have a great day. Happy boothing.